And here we are. Probably one of my least favorite mini games in order to get a golden banana. Minecarts, but you have to collect 50 DK coins in the process. Yeah, you are not going to like this if you play this game the first time around. But maybe you'll like it a lot later. You know, maybe you'll like it later if you get used to it. But for your first playthrough, yeah, you're pretty much going to hate it. But anyway, what's going on, everybody? This is Double RPG here, and welcome to another episode of Donkey Kong 64, or Double RPG's Let's Play with Donkey Kong 64 on the Nintendo 64. In today's episode, we are going to uh, get the last couple of bananas as Diddy Kong, and then we are going to get it on with the first boss fight in this game. And then after that, we will start making our way towards the second level, but we won't get into it right away, but we will uh, get up there regardless. Or make it, you know, to the beginning parts of it, you know, where we walk through to get inside the level. But we'll get inside the level once we get on to the next episode. But anyway, let's get on with this episode that's already in progress. And as you can see, we're pretty much trying to get through this uh, mini game to where we have to go through this mine on a mine cart. But we also have to collect uh, these, DK, these DK coins, or golden DK coins, in order for us to get a golden banana. It's kind of a tedious process, but... Uh, because, you know, you are bound to get hit by the, uh, by the explosive barrels, you know, that's being shown up right now. And, uh, you're bound to get hit by some of the, uh, Kremlings that are on the minecarts. Yeah, something that you are not going to enjoy the first time around, as I've been saying. Because, you know, the controls are kind of stiff and wonky when you're riding on the minecarts. And it's just, you know, you have to act very quickly if you want to, uh, you know, get what you want. Anyway, I should probably go ahead and explain what the controls are. Um, to move faster, you want to uh, you want to uh, hit up on the control stick, and if you want to lean left or right, then you hit left or right on the control stick. And if you want to slow down, then you just press back on the uh, control stick. Also, um, if you want to uh, if you want to jump, then you just press the A button. But other than that, I think that's pretty much what's that all that there is in terms of the controls for this mini game or whatever. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this up. And, uh, and the first time when you're playing, you know, playing the minecarts, you'll pretty much get all, uh, 50 of the DK coins. So, you're pretty, so you'll pretty much get the golden banana regardless if you know what you're doing. But, yeah, we finally got the fourth golden banana for Diddy Kong in this level. So, now we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna go collect that other one. And that brings us out, you know, back here in the main, uh, in the main, uh, area of Jungle Jape. So, Let's go ahead and uh, make try to make our way back. But I don't know why I just went back inside the cave. So, uh, eh, anyway. Why am I going this way? Oh, maybe I maybe it's just to see if there's uh, bananas that I didn't get as Diddy Kong. But uh, I don't think there's any more bananas that we had to find for Diddy Kong in this place. I mean, I know there's some that I missed. But I can come back later, you know, and get those when I, you know, when I get the other Kongs. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and check here real quick. But, no, there's no more red bananas or red, uh, banana coins. So, let's go ahead and head back up to that one mountain where we can obtain that, uh, that golden banana that we just, uh, hit the switch that appeared on. Okay. So, head this way. And then we're gonna have to jump in the water. And then we have to climb that huge vine in order to get up there to you know, where, uh, where, uh, Funky Store is, and then we'll try to make our way up to the top of that mountain area. Okay, let's go ahead and climb this, and, yeah, I know I probably should be cutting footage, but, hey, you know, I really rather not, I mean, it takes a short, it, it doesn't really take that long to get over there, I mean, I could do it, but, you know, it, like I said, it just doesn't take long, so we'll just take it nice and easy and uh, kind of refrain from editing parts. I mean, I will be doing it a lot more in the later levels because they're a bit more intricate than this one, but yeah, we'll just stick with uh, what we do right now. Okay, we need to uh, we need to climb up the spiral mountain. I know plagiarism from uh, Banjo Kazooie, but <laughs> but no, we just need to climb this up and uh, we'll go grab that. Uh, Golden banana, and we should be out of here. Well, no, we can't be out of here just yet. We still need to do... Oh, in a number five uh, banana port pad. But yeah, um, now that we finally got, you know, all that done, we can now head into the uh, 
and head inside that door that had the uh, that had the uh, heads of what equates to a pig and a uh, and a, uh, a a pig and a hippo. And uh, usually the best place that I go to f to find the to find you know the boss door is I usually just take this path you know that had the banana fairy in that one room and this huge rock in the other and I pretty much just take this. Okay, now we're here. It says, Howdy Diddy, we can help you progress through your quest. But there's just one problem. I want to reach the key above my head to open this door for you. But I've eaten far too much. I reckon that if you can feed my buddy Scoff over there, he might be able to overcome my slight weight problem. So, if you've got any tasty bananas, go stand on our pad and let's see what we can do. Okay, he said his name was... He said that the blue hippo's name is Scoff. I know um, that the pig's name is also a rhyme to Scoff's name, but I can't remember what it is. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to uh, either put an annotation or uh, let you know what his name is in the next episode. But yeah, the the hippo's name is Scoff, but the pink pig it's it his name rhymes with the the hippo's name. Okay, we finally unlocked the boss door, and the lucky victim is Donkey Kong, who's going to have to fight the first boss. So yeah, um, I would go ahead at this point and uh, go down to the tag barrel and switch Diddy to DK or Donkey Kong. I just usually call him DK for short. But yes, since DK is going to be taking part in this boss fight, we'll go ahead and we'll select him right now. And uh, notice the rumbling from the rumble pack. And even though you can't really hear it or anything, but every time when the when those two when those two are having fun, or if they uh, are so happy, you know, to reach up to the key, they'll usually make the rumble pack shake because of them stomping. That's one of the things you gotta love about the N64 is the rumble pack. It was probably it's probably one of the best uh, one of the best peripherals that's ever existed, you know, throughout the years of gaming. That and you know something that equates to maybe like the the Guitar Hero controller, and maybe something like uh, oh I don't know. Kind of hard to say what else is really awesome that in terms of a peripheral. Maybe the expansion pack. What? That didn't even get the guy. Oh oh come on. Oh you didn't even. Oh come on. Gosh. Sometimes the bosses are in irregular places that you can't even hit them, and it kind of makes it, you know, hard for you to try to do your best. But anyway, I probably should uh, stop yapping and explain to you who this boss is. This boss is Armadillo, and yes, he's kind of like uh, he's kind of like the Armadillo or the army, you know, the Armadillos that we fight against in Donkey Kong Country. You know, the ones that uh, or the Armadillos, the ones that roll at you. But this guy has a big, huge. Uh, metallic shell on his back pretty much used for uh, for high defenses and such but yeah the only way we can hurt him is throwing a TNT barrel at his face throwing a, a bomb barrel at his face okay stop okay let's throw that and uh, that got his face there too and uh, he's getting electrified more <laughs> This is electrifying entertainment coming from yours truly, Double RPG. And uh, when he when he takes damage, he'll always try to come after you, you know, with his with his uh, roll with his rolls or whatever. But he's usually pretty slow, and you can pretty much uh, evade his move when you you know when you uh or but. You could pretty much evade that move by just continuously starting to move forward from where you are. Oh, he damaged us. Oh well, everybody takes damage. Come on, let's get your face. Okay, I think that was the last hit. And he'll pretty much retreat for now, but something tells me we're probably going to have to fight him again later. And uh, that's one of the things I hate about games is uh, recycling boss fights. Even though the gameplay is good in this game, 
This game is a victim for recycling boss fights. Well, it's just only two, but yeah. I'm not really a big fan of the recycled boss fights in some games. I mean, kind of like, uh... Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Squawk! Nice going, DK! That looks like one of the keys to Kel Kelumzi's cage! Brah! Well, yes it is. And since it is a key to Columzy's cage, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to cut footage here. And we will head over to Columzy's uh, cage area. We now have 11 golden bananas and a new golden key. And we're making progress, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, we're back here in the main, uh, main hub world area. We'll use banana port 1 and we'll go over to where Columzy is being imprisoned. And by bringing the key over there, uh, I mean, and by bringing uh, keys that we find in each world over to Kalumzi's cage, they will, he will pretty much get all happy like he's going to right now, and he will open pathways to newer levels for us to traverse in. <laughs> Kalumzi. Big, uh, all big with uh, no brains, but more of bronze, but so happy regardless. Okay. With him being so happy, that opens up that pathway to a new level right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll walk out of here and we will start trying to traverse up that path to get up to the next level. Which is called uh, Angry Aztec, by the way. But uh, we will worry about going there until the next episode. Because I think uh, by the time we get up there, we will already made some good progress and we can close off this episode for, you know, for today. I know I made the last few episodes uh, kind of lengthy, about 20 minutes, but I think uh, for once we can go with a shorter episode. Okay, I'm pretty much going to walk around to see if... Well, no. Oh yeah, I am. Uh, sometimes I'm, it's hard to tell if I want to, you know, take a look at something or if I want to just, you know, explore around the island a bit, but... At this point, I think it's time for us to ascend up these platforms so that way we can get up to the next level. Yeah, we're going to need to do the uh, the high jump ability or whatever. The standing high jump. Which has pretty much been a staple in most of the 3D platformers, especially with the Mario franchise. And I'm sure they're going to bring that back. And, and yeah, they're definitely bringing that back for Super Mario 3D Land. And I'm definitely looking forward to that when it comes out in November. Something that's really on my must-have list. Okay, now climbing up these stairs here. We should be able to get up to where Angry Aztec is. And by getting there, there is Banana Port number 2. So both uh, pads that have Banana Port number 2 on them, we can get access to the uh, the area before DK's uh, home, uh, home area. Okay, there's that billboard again. He says, come on, I haven't got all day. Show me the bananas and I'm out of this dump! Oh, quite an it. So angry. So angry. Now, there is a golden banana in here, but we're pretty much going to need to have Tiny Kong with us. And also, we need to get a certain ability f for her from Cranky. So, we'll have to wait on that uh, for some time. Free the llama by completing Donkey's Barrel Blast course. Oh, yes. We got to do some more Barrel Blast course fun. Yay! No. <laughs> Okay, let's see what she has to say here. Bash the gongs with Diddy's chippy charge to reveal hidden the hidden surprise. Reveal hidden surprise? Shouldn't be reveal the hidden surprise because that would actually make more sense. Okay, enough of my jabbing. Let's go ahead and head in here and uh, we'll start making our way towards Angry Aztec. But first things first, we got a cutscene with K. Rule here. That meddlesome monkey should be burnt to a crisp by now. Where's that armadillo? I I'm sorry, Master. He was too quick for me, but, but I'll get him next time. His name's Armadillo. Imbecile! I don't like failure. Do you know what happens to failures? Gulp. Oh, I don't like that eye of his. Oh, he fainted. <laughs> I've waited too long for this. I won't let those flea-bitten monkeys ruin my plans this time. Yeah, that's what you say, K. Rule, but uh, you know you're going to lose. But anyway, gamers, this is a good spot to where we can go ahead and we can wrap up this episode. So next time on Double RPGs, let's play with Donkey Kong 64 on the Nintendo 64. We are going to get started with level 2, which is Angry Aztec, and we'll see how far along we get, you know, 
get through the through the level. And maybe we'll be able to free another Kong, and most likely so. But we'll see how far along we get. Anyway, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description. And if you like what you saw, be sure you rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments to below to let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time. See you guys then.